We need to stop discriminating. I mean, there's no reason whatsoever this band needs to exist at all. Blood is tested, right? It's tested all the time. So I don't understand, you know, why we think that, you know, a gay man who has sex is like, you know, going to be, you know, I mean, the probability that he will be infected, I understand from an epidemiological perspective, is higher given the prevalence of the disease in the population. But... We test the blood anyway. I think the damage we're doing by stigmatizing gay men is much worse, right, than, you know, the quote unquote protections we're putting in place. So the FDA ban, in my, in my mind, needs to go away. Um, we have the technology to test blood. And quite frankly, I don't know what's in the blood of other people that we're not testing for, right? So why continue to ostracize gay men? Um, and it's, you know, if you think about it, the HIV epidemic in the United States, you know, African American women and African American, the American African population is, you know, adversely affected by HIV. Do we, can you imagine if we had a ban on Black people telling them they couldn't donate blood? But we think it's okay, which I'm not saying we should. It's awful. It's, that would be god awful. But we, we somehow think it's okay to tell gay people they can't donate blood because they've had sex, which is, by the way, a denial of their identities and their sexual lives and their being. So, let's get rid of this. The whole thing is also like, if we think about HIV criminalization, there are, I don't know, 30 states left in the country where you potentially, if you, if you don't know your status, you know, if you know your status and you potentially expose somebody to HIV, you can be criminalized. Okay. If you don't know your status, you can't be. But in fact, if you don't know your status, you're probably more infectious than if you do know your status. Because if you do know your status, you're probably on medications, which makes you not infectious. So that whole thing is nonsense. And then I keep flipping this around saying, well, what about the people who don't wear masks, who are spreading COVID-19, right? Which is much, 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 much easier to transmit than HIV, right? Let's remember, 550,000 deaths in the United States from COVID-19 in one year, 720,000 deaths from HIV over 40 years, right? So 